it. All right. Oh, oh, hey, hey, hey. So I'm here. Let's uh, have some. I'm messing with you guys. Yeah, this is Kente Cloth, whatever. I'm messing, I'm messing with you guys. I'm messing with whatever because of the Kente Cloth thing. Uh, the, joke is, the joke is old. I, I'll leave that alone. Let me put it in any place. Hey, stay here, Kente. I'm not royalty anyway. <laughs> I come from the downtrodden. I'm down with the downtrodden. That's the one thing I said when I was talking to my Mike Sergeant. <laughs> you say, oh, you're down with downtrodden. I said, yeah, I'm down with downtrodden. Um... Uh, I made some notes. When I say made some notes, I, 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 I'm trying to figure out things. Like, for instance, this is Sunday right now, so this might be the you know how they do the, the week, the wrap up of the week or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what I got here: black cherry, just black cherry, black cherry juice, juice from ripe whole black cherries. That's what you want to put in your body. See, let me explain something to you. In the '60s, we used to have this thing. If the white man touched it, leave it alone. Of course, they was talking about <laughs> white women. Or oh, they're the worst these days. <laughs> Talk about white women. But you would expand that if you think about it. In this days, it would be if it's processed, which means if people process it, they all it's the white. You know, it's the white people in charge, of, right? So if they give you the stuff, you, all the stuff they put in, like when they they, they 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 took that stuff out of, they put bromine in the bread, and you know because it's, see what I'm saying when they did. Um, uh, the whole thing with the, all the stuff that they you, you know what they do I'm not going you know the corn syrup and all that stuff to their advantage so basically if it's processed leave it alone that's what I'm really saying so if you don't want to be racial leave that alone okay look oh wait let me get my thing here I took some notes oh here it is not a lot uh oh protest song Chesapeake Library oh I'll start with this. Ooh, I can't do Southern Africa's going through a thing right now. I have to do that separate with your Africa report on that, man. Woo! Read about it. Uh, you know, just read about it. Um, public library. Chesapeake Public Library. Okay. Some of you, wait, you don't know me, but I'm a library addict. I mean, not, I'm a library who a junkie, whatever. And whatever city I go to, I find a library. We'll probably have the library card. Yeah, no, it's in the other one. Anyway, I got like my Chesapeake Library card when I'm in St. Louis. They have, they have a great library in St. Louis. Oh, I love that library. They may have social. Anyway, so the ACT did well. I'm best at libraries, but because I'm a little I'm on the whatever the mailing list for Chesapeake, they sent a they, every 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 so often, every week, every two weeks, whatever it is. Maybe it's a monthly. But they send this thing. They say the new books or what's hot, whatever it is. Well, they came. I saw one, and the, the, the latest one. It says, you know, uh, the book, the featured book, is the new Jim Crow by Michelle Alexander. I said, what? My goodness, this is interesting. And then there was another report that black bookstores uh, are reinsurgents, resurgence, whatever happened. In fact, there's this bookstore in in Boynton, in uh, Boynton Beach, that I used to when I lived down in Florida. I know that bookstore. Because when I first did, when I first came to Florida, people were saying like, "Man, yo, brother, I tell you that they ain't got Florida. You ain't gonna find nothing in Florida, man. They ain't got no progressives. Enough. You know what they were saying like that." So I'm going like, "Can't gotta be." So I went down there. The first thing that I did, uh, where was it? Um, uh, this I was there. Anyway, I went to a bookstore, right? Because I live in Delray Beach, and then the next town up from the books from Delray is going to here. So I went to a bookstore there, and lo and behold. My brothers, my brothers, you know, the intellectuals, the, 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 the people that know, that was the bookstore. So I had a good time in Florida. And then when I was, then I was down in, uh, Fort, in uh, Fort Lauderdale, same day I found a black bookstore. But now they're getting research, so that's really good. Um, so that's done. Oh, protest songs. Now this is interesting. Um, when, um, again, one of the things I did, I, do, I did, I, still, I guess I still do in South Africa, uh, so I was working with this a group called Umsamankle. It's, it's like a, a physically, mentally challenged, you know, kids or whatever have you. And so I would, I had them do. I said, look, you got, remember you got protest songs. You know, you got your religious songs. A lot of times the, the protest song is based on you know the religious songs or whatever have you. I said, hey, we need a village song. We got to create a village song. So they created the village song. And the, and the other guy I talked to, to the young, other young people about, you know, the, whatever. I said. Uh, I said, man, where are the struggle songs of today? Where are the struggle songs of today? 
No? Well, the thing, but see, singing is very important. And also, there was, okay, I don't know what the circumstance was, but it was like the headline to go like, the, 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 this brother was dancing in the street and the cops, whatever, he had a thing. I'm going like, ah, they're coming out, they're just for exercising. And, you know, that's what I do. Every, I just came from, you know, I just came from my dance walk to the park and I just dance, come on back. And I'm going, wow. But, you know, if you listen to the tape, I guess you listen to the tape. You could t- I mean, I don't know why the, br- the brother had a car. He drove his car to this particular spot. You might as well just, I mean, I walked to the park. He might as well, and he, I guess he lives close. They know him in the neighborhood. But if there's no park in the neighborhood, but there's got to be some place that you can drive your car, that you can do your little exciting. You don't have to be on the street. But I don't care about that stuff. The problem with that was, actually, how did it start? How it always starts. A white woman. Okay, I'm not... Up there, I, I, hey, yeah, hey, uh, a couple of my best friends are white women, so I, you know, I'm gonna do that, right? But here's the thing: why? Do, what is this thing with white women? Uh, you know, they, they, this uh, that one way where, where she was, she was basically lynching the dog with one hand and trying to and, and trying to lynch a black man with the phone. You know what I mean? So I, I don't know. Maybe black women, maybe white women, try to protect their men. They know it's hey. I don't know what did he hear with that. I sort of got upset with that. But here in South Africa, remember that here? I'm in the backyard here. I say South Africa because that's where I live and I'm not there now. Yeah. Anyway, one of the most harrowing things is that when during the struggle, it was the it was the, the dancing and the singing. You know, so if you can imagine this mass of people lock and step singing the song. Boom. 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 Ooh, ooh. And you so you got these you got these men with the pongas what they call it like that and they come in and then you got the police force someplace over there they hear they are maybe going over a hill they hear this it's it's like you know in, in the wild west whatever we with the when he yelled the the the, the, he, the how you say the, the troops come in and they they have the rebel yell whatever the, whatever the yell they got you know what I mean it's the same thing and the, the, the back then the apartheid police whatever they were they that put fear into them. Singing and dancing put fear into them. So anyways, I, 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 but I digress. A protest song. Oh, here's what I want to get to. Kaepernick. Here's the thing. Um, I haven't seen, I, 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 you know, I did the resident thing with, you know, uh, uh, Shannon, and Stephen A, and, you know, and a few other people. And they all talked about, we, this owner said this, that owner said that. But what they don't get with the whole Kaepernick thing what started this? The Donald Trump. The Donald Trump started this. We, 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 taking the thing from 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 um, bringing awareness to police violence to making it an issue of the flag in the military. That's he did it, right? And all these owners who who actually contributed to the uh, to the, to Trump's uh, campaign, right? They 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 they, they blackballed him. White walled them, whatever they did, right? And so you say, wait a second, what what should be done? You know, well, first of all, all the owners should get together and apologize to Kaepernick. Tell them that's the first apology, but apology is nothing. Here's what I would do. Okay, here's it. I'm, I'm radical with this. You ready for this one? Wait a second. I gotta get some, I gotta get some black juice in me for this one. Here we go. Black cherry juice, strong inside. Here we go. The next next year's inauguration. The, ne- the next year's inauguration. No matter who it is, whether it's the Trump or whether it's, it's, it's the Biden, don't matter. In their in their you know, speech, you know when they had the inauguration speech. Here's what they do. Right in the middle of the speech, they say, "Look, this country, we gotta have some feeling." This whole thing started because we didn't understand. We understand now. And for the person that made us understand. Uh, Mr. Colin Kaepernick, you call him up here now. He's up there. This man has more courage than all the politicians, than all the military, than anybody. This is our errors, you know, uh, a person that shows us how to do it. So uh, right now, my first act, I just got sworn in. This is just Cheshire. We're going to have to do the formal thing. Actually, I have it all set up. We're giving him right now the Medal of Freedom. Mr. Kaepernick, turn around. Brother Kaepernick? No, they can't say Brother Kaepernick. Kaepernick, turn around. They give him the Medal of Freedom. That's in the speech. You understand what I'm saying? You can figure it out. I'm a theater director. I got to do the theater thing. You don't want to worry about it. Okay. 
That's what I do. Because Colin Kaepernick is owed an apology from the people who perpetrate this stuff. That is the owners and people like the dumb and the Bible. You see? They have to apologize. In fact, that's what I would say on the campaign. Are you gonna can you apologize to uh, Colin Kaepernick? Because you know that. Now, hey, can you watch how, how Biden would say, well, uh, uh, we, we got to do some formal thing. No, 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 no. Will you apologize right now? That's it. Well, uh, you know, th- that's the same here. That's my thought. That's my thought. And uh, there's some stuff happening. Oh, by the way, no, I'll, I'll do that another thing. I got to do the the the, uh, the Five Bloods. You know what I mean? So I'm not going to criticize you. Something else I'm going to talk about, talk about film. But that's another time. That's for another day. <laughs> Look, enjoy your day. If you are going to dance, well, you can dance any place you want. There's no law against dancing. But hopefully, no, hopefully, no white woman will see you. They try to lynch and try to <laughs> lynch you by like calling the cops on you. <laughs> what can I say? I being me, T from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. Actually, but from a beautiful backyard, enjoying myself. I guess I'm enjoying myself. No, I got stuff to do. See you later. Check later. Bye-bye.